be one to come to What I have to do Just to put it down on you Welcome back guys Now if you want to see how I achieve this eye look Stay tuned and just enjoy Alright, so I'm going to use the Jackie Eye New Palette and I'm going in with the color Edges and I'm just using a nice fluffy brush and I'm applying this into my crease. And just make sure you kind of like take your time and really diffuse it. Okay, so now we're going to go in with the color Supreme and we're going to use a more dense brush and we're just going to apply a little bit more of that pinker shade just to kind of give the eye that extra pink look. Now I'm gonna go in my outer corner with the shade Big Wig for the palette. And we're gonna kind of like just start laying out the map of a smoky eye. You know me, gotta have a smoky eye in there somewhere. And this, you're just gonna keep like layering it on until you like it. Now I did feel like Big Wig wasn't giving me enough of that purple smokiness, so I went in with the James Charles palette. And I just grabbed that purple color with a more dense brush and I'm just applying it in the outer corner and just like sitting there taking my time blending it out. Now you can see like it's definitely more, more smoky. Okay, so I went in with the P. Louise brush base. <laughs> I can't even freaking talk. The P. Louise base and I'm using a flat brush and what I'm doing right now is just kind of carving out my crease. So I'm kind of doing like not a full on super dramatic cut crease, but I am definitely carving out the crease to give me that more dramatic look. And I'm just going to blend out the outer corner because I'm going to go back in and kind of smoke it out a little bit. I'm layering a little bit more, just really trying to take my time, carve it out where I want the neon color to go in. And just going back in again, of course, and blending it out. And I took a little bit more of that darker purple color from the James Charles palette, and I just went back in the outer corner so it could still be there. I don't know what I was looking at. <laughs> now I went in with the MAC Artistry palette, and I am taking the neon pink. So this is the neon pink from the MAC Artistry palette. Um, you will get a little fallout, but if you just use translucent powder, like if you did your foundation like me, it'll come right off. So don't worry. Also, I didn't put concealer on yet, so that's another thing. Um, now I'm just showing you how it would look if you do the pigment. So on that eye that's super vibrant, that's the eye I put the pigment. I kind of like that look a little bit better, so I went in with the pigment. Also, a lot of people like on Instagram voted for me to use the pink pigment, so I wanted to show y'all how it looks. Now, keep in mind, you won't have to add as many layers of the pigment if you have like a base underneath. So that's pretty much why I went in with the MAC eyeshadow, just to be like a nice base, so it could be that really vibrant, bright pink. Now I'm going in with the Benefit Shrink Liner and I put on some lashes and I'm using for my waterline the LA Girl Liner which is super nice, nice and smooth and I am just going in on the waterline. I kind of made a little mistake so I just blend that out. <laughs> now I'm going to use the color Big Wig again and pinker in the palette and I'm just going to go underneath my bottom lash line and I'm just going to smoke it all out. Now this part, when you smoke out your bottom lash line, you do kind of want to just take your time. Make sure everything is nice and nice and diffused because sometimes you can really see like where you put the shadow and not in a good way. Like I wanted it to be like a nice blown out smoky purple eye look. So I just took my time and really diffused everything. So just going back in now with pinker to kind of help blend it all out. Now I wanted to give the eye an extra little pop. So I'm going to go in with the pink pigment and I'm gonna put it in my tear duct normally I would do like a shimmer or a glitter I'm like you know what let's just do a hot the hot pink neon matte pink pigment and that's the NYX liner I'm gonna link the shade down below because honestly I don't remember what shade it is but any brown liner will do and I'm just showing you how I just would like align my lips so I was kind of indecisive when I got to the lips. I was debating on putting on the lipstick, but you'll see, I just said, you know what, let me just go in and fill in 
my lips with the liner because I love this shade of brown. That's why it's literally down to the bottom. This is like my go-to brown lip liner. And I'm just going to take the Pat McGrath lip gloss. I'm going to also link the name of the Pat McGrath lip gloss in the um, description box below and let y'all know. But I felt like this one's so cute. And this is the end results of the look, guys. Super cute and very wearable glam. High fashion, like Goya, G-Wagon, or the Rover. I put some ice on your